Hi everybody, um, John here. Just want to give you a little insight on this cell. We started out with this cell yesterday, and what I did is you can see somewhere in the early morning hours the oscillator current was we turned up, and uh, you saw the cell pull down right here, and then. We just decided to put it on a normal resistive load so that we could show you that the oscillator is not affecting what it's doing. This spike you see right here is uh, when we disconnected it real quick. And then what you see here is this the cell is slowly rising under load, which is now a 680 ohm resistor, purely resistive load. The current has gone up there you can see here that we're pulling about the same amount of current the oscillator was pulling and that these cells are absolutely dry in fact we're trying to add humidity to the air right now and uh, because it's so dry here didn't want to get into a big argument on the internet but I'm going to tell you something about Idaho. We're extremely dry here so much that you just don't put wood out without it cracking. So believe me when I tell you we don't have much humidity. We're just trying to keep cool from the heat because 90 degrees here is pretty hot for this area. So anyway, I wanted you to see this. That it's gaining under load with a 680 ohm resistor which is right there and the cells are right here and so they've stayed that now these are two different doped cells uh, one of the cells but they're using the star pattern in the magnesium and they're totally dry and we want to see if the moisture by adding it to the air has any effect on it at all and you see here it is again this is what it is that's where we disconnect this spike the cell recovers and then under load it's gaining again so you can see that here on the chart that it's going upward so and here's the meter and you can see it's going trying to go move up and that's just the way this works so, anyway, I thought I'd share this with you. Thanks for viewing and watching and participating in this activity.